Hi guys, hope you are well. Welcome to my channel, Hibs here. Um, today's video is just going to be an empty video, which is just basically products that I have used and if I've liked them or not. So I thought I'd tell you guys, um, just you know, just to tell you guys, to share with you guys. <laughs> so yeah, so um, I haven't really done this type of video in a very long time because I tend to not use products that quickly and um, yeah, so I just thought I'd share with you now because I kind of tried to build it up a little bit because it would be not really, it would be maybe a little bit pointless if it was just like one product. So I thought I'd just share with you guys what I've used up so far. So as you can see, um, I have used the Nivel, 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 Nivea Natural Fairness Face Wash and it's, I still have a little bit left. But um, I like this product and will repurchase it just because it has given me an even tone to my face. Not necessarily fair, but just even tone, which is what I like about it. But with that being said, um, I, you do need to moisturize a bit quite well afterwards. Now, considering on the same kind of line, um, I do use, I have used this Cetaphil Non Irritating Cleanser as a face kind of wash. And I will not purchase it just because of the price. It is kind of pricey and um, it is a good-ish kind of like um, cleanser but yeah just because of the price and it has taken me a while to finish it though. The item that I do tend to purchase quite often, it is around 50 dirhams, it is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. The reason I tend to purchase this more often because it suits my face, uh, my skin and it tends to give me the moisturized feel that I have afterwards. Um, some other creams that I have used which are fragrance free or like similar to Cetaphil, uh, they haven't worked so I tend to go back to Cetaphil. Um, as you can see this is a new tube because I did recently repurchase it and I chucked the other one out. But yeah, so um, I will most likely keep going back to this. The next item as you can see is the Maybelline Baby Lips Pink Punch and in Pink Punch even, and yeah, I really like this lip balm, it's a really nice colour. Um, as you can see, I have finished most of it, it's just like a tiny bit left, but that's just like the really bottom part. It kind of melted, hence it's like that, or it's melting. So yeah, so that's the reason I haven't um, repurchased any more just yet, and I won't repurchase this just yet, but I will once I finish the Baby Lips Quenched one, because uh, there's like that much left. Um, and the reason why I'm not going to purchase it just yet is because, like I said, it tends to melt. And yeah, so I will uh, definitely repurchase this. And I have also just opened the Baby Lips um, Cherry Me one, which is just a red, lightly tinted reddish kind of lip balm. Really nice, it smells of cherries too, so it's really nice. Next item is just 100% cotton pads by Seapel. Um, I tend to just I re I re repurchase this as you can see and I've used a little bit of it. Um, the reason I like this is just it's a good size, it's not too small, not too big for me to remove my eye makeup and uh, use it as for my toner kind of thing, stuff like that. So I just find that these are a good um, size. So we'll most likely, prob most likely repurchase them again. The last item I have repurchased quite a lot actually, it is the Onion, Onion, I can't say that, the skincare, um, just a bath shower gel kind of thing, and it's in Halo, 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 oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Aloe Vera and Honey um, fragrance kind of thing, and the reason why I like this shower gel is because it doesn't irritate my skin, um, like I said before, I have dry skin and I also have a bit of eczema on my heart on my hands so it, it can't irritate but luckily um, this really is really nice uh, really nice fragrance I have tried the vanilla one and the lavender one and I haven't really liked the fragrance as such so yeah so I prefer uh, this one and if you do know a little bit more about this product then please do let me know in the comments below because I really haven't heard of this product uh, or this company even but yeah, I do like this and I will definitely repurchase this, especially because you get uh, 750 milliliters in this, so that is pretty good. So please excuse for some of the items not being in frame, but yeah. Um, so there, that is really much it, guys, for this video. I do have one quick one, uh, actually one other item which I don't have on me, is the Nivea, um, I think the waterproof mascara formula. I think it was or something like that it's the one that I'll link in a picture uh, somewhere to show you guys what I'm referring to and um, it's just the eye makeup remover which has I think have has like a bluey oil kind of liquid 
and the reason why I may not purchase that again is because it used to sting my eyes. It did do a good enough job of removing my eye makeup, especially if I had mascara or something on, but it just stung my eyes, especially like I said, I have dry skin, so I think that was just the reason. So I'm see if I can find something else, otherwise I may go back to that, but I mean it stings my eyes, so I don't know, I'm gonna see, that's like 50-50. So yeah, so that is pretty much it guys, I really hope this video has helped you guys, do let me know in the comments below um, if you have heard of this shower gel. I will see you guys soon, thank you so much for watching, uh, like if you did like this video, and yeah, because it really means a lot to me. So hopefully